All right, just to finish these last two, sorry I didn't get it on the last video. I had to turn it off for something. All right, uh, number 19, condo unit was sold for 50000 when it was new. It was worth 65000 three years after it was purchased. Write an equation that expresses the value Y in terms of the number of years since it was purchased as X. So it was purchased in the no it was purchased when the zero when the year was zero, okay? Since everything else is from the year it was purchased. So three years after that, it was worth sixty-five. And it looks like they're gonna ask about when it's gonna be eighty thousand. Okay. So I need the equation of the line to tell me how it's appreciating and um, if it stays steady, steady. So in the first three years, there's an equation that you can write that talks about um, how much, you know, it gives me the rate it appreciated for those three years. And then we're going to project if that stays the same, how many years later will it be 80,000? So we can count this as the two points. That's point one, and this is point two. We're going to go 65,000 minus 50,000, three minus zero. That's going to be 15,000 over three, which is 5,000. That is our slope. That is our rate of increase that this condo unit appreciates, okay? So, I um when it started it was 50 so notice that that's a 0 and a 50 so that's the start you can you don't have to put it in the point slope you could but you don't have to put it in the point slope to know the equation of the line because the rate is the slope and then the start how much when x was 0 um is 50,000 can read my writing there so that is the equation of the line that's the a answer right the equation of the line because think about it when you put zero in for x that would make that go away and y the value at zero years is fifty thousand okay so they want to know for b they want to know when y is eighty thousand given that that's the rate of appreciation okay so to solve for x we want to subtract 50,000 from each side. That's going to give me 30,000 equals 5,000 X. Isolate my X. All right, so X is going to equal um, six, right? So in six years, or six years past its purchase, It'll be worth, the condo would be worth 80000 Okay. All right, the last one, the cost of the ride is $2.30 plus $1.38 per mile. Write an equation in slope-intercept form. Okay, so the cab cost, the cost of the ride, let Y be the cost of the ride, X be the number of miles. So 1.38 times the number of miles, right, per mile. That's the slope or the rate. Um, and it's going to start at $2.30 if you don't go anywhere, okay? So that's the answer to A. And then it says, would $35 cover the cost of the fare for 19 miles and still give a 20% tip? So that's code for put in 19 for X. So how much is it going to cost you if you go 19 miles for just the fare? I believe that comes out to, I can check that in my calculator, 28.52. Make sure you're multiplying first and then adding. Order of operations come into play there. So it's for just the fare, it would be that. So how do you find 20% of that number? Multiply by 0.2. So the tip you're going to leave is $5, and it comes out to that. So that's like $5.70. So if the fare is twenty eight fifty two and the tip is supposed to be five dollars and seventy cents, <clears throat> excuse me, then this is going to be thirty four dollars and twenty two cents. Yep, you can hand them thirty five dollars 
and that will cover it, okay?